Okay, welcome everyone. My name is Sean Hart. Let me be the first to welcome you to today's very special webinar, Kevin King's special invitation to the 2023 Killer Amazon Cash Machine with myself, Sean Hart. Seth, why don't you jump on the video and say hello here? And uh, Kevin, we're going to let you uh, say hello and get things kicked off, and then we'll jump right into the content, buddy. All right. Seth coming on first. Seth's here. Oh, he's there. Okay, I only see you. All right, uh, cool. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome everybody to this webinar. Thanks for signing up and joining us today. I know some of you may be here live. Some of you may be watching this on a replay. Welcome to all of you. I, <clears throat> you know, when I, I've known uh, Sean for probably eight, nine years now. I guess I think I met him like 2015, way back when I started, first started doing uh, FBA. And uh, he came to a mastermind in Austin and it was, you know, he's just blowing everybody's mind. He was there with his wife and just flew in for the day and then flew out and was just showing all these tactics and techniques and strategies and everything. I was like, man, this guy, <laughs> this guy knows it. <laughs> and so, you know, when he, he and Seth got together and started Post Purchase Pro, they'd been working together for a long time. And when they, they started Post Purchase Pro, I was like, what, what's this all about? And he, he was explaining it to me. And I was like, you know what? I've been doing some of this for a while. You know, a lot of people on Amazon, they just... They're always worried about getting that next sale, that next customer buy, that next PPC click, and they're not maximizing the assets they have, the assets that you have to the customer, the customer list, the previous buyers. And Sean and Seth came up with a pretty ingenious system that just, which they're going to show to you today so you can do it yourself. Um, but it, it's a pretty cool system on ways to actually maximize and, and squeeze some more uh, juice out of the orange. And it's what I've been doing, you know, for 20 plus years. I mean, their technique, their strategies are a little bit uh, more advanced than even what I'm doing. And it's pretty cool. So um, I think this is something that a lot of you, especially if you've been selling for a while, or even if you're just getting started, is going to really open your eyes and really help you add some extra uh, uh, dollars to, to your gross sales. If you do what, you know, if you do the way they show you. Now, if you, if you deviate from that or if you try to just half assets or something, it's, it may not work. <laughs> but if you if you go and follow what Sean and, and Seth are showing you, this is this is a way that could potentially add a lot uh, to your bottom line. So uh, that's why I want to do this webinar. They can explain it a lot better than I can because they do this day in, day out. So uh, I hope you guys get a lot from this today. Thank you so much, Kevin. Um, I know you're busy out there in Vegas. So if you have a chance to come back in 90 minutes or so to help with Q&A, we, we welcome you here, and I appreciate the opportunity to share today's unique strategies with your audience. I appreciate you, brother. Seth, anything? Yeah, I'll just thank you so much, Kevin. Thanks for everybody um, being here with us. I know a few of you have uh, written in the chat box already, so I'm assuming that our audio and our visuals are coming through okay. Um, I'm going to be hanging out in the background throughout as Sean kind of walks you through step-by-step -step of of these strategies. So if you have any questions, feel free, drop those in the chat box and I will uh, um, jump in and interrupt Sean if it makes sense. Otherwise I'll answer you in the chat box. All right, now remember, um, Kevin invited you here for a specific reason. And this is just one of the four strategies that I'm gonna be unveiling for you today. So don't go anywhere. If some of this content seems a little bit familiar, maybe you saw it on one of my Facebook channels or something, trust me, it's all brand new. It's a whole new, uh, a series of, of four unique strategies. Part one, I'm going to show you how to two X your sales. It's going to take me about 25 minutes to get through that. And we're, then we're going to jump into part two, which is the three killer Amazon cash machine strategies that we specifically wanted to share with you. This thing is maxing out, Seth. I can see the attendee uh, box yep. is still popping. Thank you for that awesome introduction, Kevin. Without further ado, let's jump into part one. Part one is all about two Xing your sales. Now I have to warn you, this strategy is not something that you're going to see in an Amazon seller training course. In fact, this will fundamentally shift how you go about building your listings and scaling on Amazon. So let me ask you a question. In your opinion, what's the most, the simplest and most profitable way that you can use to double? Yes, double means 100 times more, right? or two times more, 100 times more would be even better. How can you multiply what you're doing by 2x the easiest way possible? Just go ahead and type in the chat box what your opinion is there, and then we'll jump in. Seth, what are you seeing in the chat box? What's the easiest way 
the quickest and most profitable way to double your sales on Amazon. I can see a lot of answers okay. coming in. Say, Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Sammy says retarget customers. Argo says launch new products. Um, Fossey says rank organically. Brita says conversion rate. Uh, James says creative cloning. Ozair says SEO. George says double your conversion rate. Um, AJ says new customers. Gary says add a comparison chart. Um, I can't keep up, but we have new <laughs> products, variations, follow up, following up with the customer. Go ahead. Well, who said creative cloning? I want you to move to the head of the class if you figured this out, because Seth and I figured out how to use a strategy on Amazon that the biggest brands, those brands that you already know and do business with all over the world have been using in their regular retail business for decades. We've simply applied it to the Amazon private label business that we manage. It has created more sales for us than any other strategy. And the crazy part, you've probably never seen anything like this. And if you have heard of me talk about creative cloning, this is brand new. So don't go anywhere. This simple strategy is taking a 30K per month product and turn that into a $300,000 per month cash cow. And it only took about eight months to accomplish this. We've applied this strategy to 53 of our own brands, let alone a handful of sellers like you that I've shared this with recently. Yes, we've been able to use this process to dramatically increase our sales since 2014 on over 1,000 unique private label products. And we've been doing this with dramatic results for so long that it's worked 100% of the times we've applied it. Yes, I've used this exact concept to 10X my sales many times. Look at our month over month growth that we've achieved with this strategy. You can see 35K, 52, 71, 100, all the way to $1.5 million. And you know what the best part is? This will work in any category. It really, really is that good, my friend. So let me show you an example. This is typical for most of you Amazon sellers. You do a whole bunch of product research. You find a suitable manufacturer. You design beautiful packaging. You perform all your keyword research. And then you build an amazing Amazon listing and launch. And it starts selling well. Congratulations. You've discovered an opportunity that is profitable and all of your hard work is finally paying off. But this doesn't happen every time you launch a new product, does it? Because sometimes products don't sell. Sometimes even worse, products sell well, but they're unprofitable. But when the stars align correctly and you have the right product at the right time with the right listing, Amazon can be amazing. But here's where most of you are making a huge mistake. What do you do once you have a successful product on Amazon selling well? What do you do? You start the process all over again, and you go out looking for a new product that might or might not be a winner for you. You hope and you pray with your fingers crossed that you'll strike gold again. This is wrong, 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 wrong. What should you do instead? Simply clone your success. Now, I want you to pay close attention because when you get this right, you will make a lot more money. So let me ask you, if you were to go create the most highly optimized listing, where should you start? Where do you start? You start with your offer, specifically a mafia offer. Now, if you've read one of my recent books, Private Label Millionaire Secrets, then you know that we spend a lot of time talking about how to create a mafia offer because it's so important. The Mafia Offer is simply an acronym. It stands for make it obvious, like what are you selling, right? Add all the search terms. Focus on one single avatar, the who. Who are you selling to? And include the best benefits. How is this going to benefit me and make my life better? And then we use an alliteration. A Mafia Offer is simply an offer that your customer simply cannot refuse. It has to be an overwhelming amount of value, and it must speak directly to just one particular, just one customer avatar, and that avatar truly understands the value. This means that your offer is designed to talk specifically to only one of the customer types in a number of sub niches, an example coming up. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is Amazon has most of us sellers confused, and we believe that just one listing has to serve all customers. But let me ask you a question. If my friend Kevin were to invite you to a webinar today for e-commerce sellers, would you be here right now? Well, maybe. Even if 
the rest of the offer was exactly the same in the same email, but it was for e-commerce sellers. You would view today's special webinar as not nearly as valuable to you. Making this webinar for e-commerce sellers is just too broad, right? And it's not nearly as compelling to you as an Amazon seller, now is it? And this is the exact same problem that most listings have on Amazon. What you're doing is you're trying to speak to everyone with the exact same language. Now, let me show you how you can use this concept to 10X your sales on Amazon. Did you realize, my friend, that you as a brand owner can clone your listing and have that listing speak directly to one particular type of customer at a time? We call this process creative cloning. And I'm going to show you how you can clone your listing using the exact same inventory that you already have to make a lot more sales, all within the same brand. You can narrow your market to a sub niche with new listings, and then you'll earn a lot more profit because you can usually charge a lot more and have less competition. Think about it. How these brands that, can, that claim to be marine grade can get two to three times more for the exact same product. Here's how it works. You will only need to present your offer to those that are most likely to convert for you. And if you only target those most likely to convert, then you'll be able to charge a lot more money. You can increase your conversions, spend less on advertising, and make a lot more profit. Never forget that you are not in business to make sales. I hope not. You're in business to make a profit because revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, and cash is king. And so is Kevin. This will allow you to create a mafia offer targeting your specific sub niche with messaging that's perfectly targeted to attract your ideal customer. Let's look at a well-known a well -known household brand, Tylenol, for an example. Maybe you're familiar with Tylenol, you know, an over-the-counter pain reliever fever reducer. So you can see in this screenshot that Tylenol has been using creative cloning for a long time. They're positioning their product to appeal to different types of customers with their language and messaging, right? But their actual product is exactly the same. You see, Tylenol gets to take up more shelf space. In our case, that's called search term result space. And then they get to better serve their customers by calling out a specific customer with each positioning. Does this make sense? You should identify exactly who you should be speaking to and the language patterns that you need to be using. You should always look to see if there's a sub niche where you can narrow your focus and more specifically target a single type of customer on Amazon. Let's say you walk into a drugstore and you have a migraine headache. You might be attracted to this product, Tylenol Ultra Relief Migraine Pain. But did you realize until today that Tylenol is exactly the same product, whether it's marketed for migraines or not. Tylenol has simply cloned their success and added to their store shelf space to capture more market share with unique packaging and product positioning. You can use Tylenol for backache, Tylenol for migraine, Tylenol for a toothache. You get the picture, right? That's exactly what we're doing on Amazon. Look at the ingredients in both of these differently positioned and packaged products. Both of these include what? 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. That's it. Think about the way you would position a razor. You could position this as for ladies for shaving bikini lines or for shaving legs or for guys shaving their face. Do you really want to use a bikini line razor to shave your face? It's just a razor, right? Or use it for underarm shaving. There are unique ways that you can position the exact same product to appeal to a specific segment of the market. Now, here's a real-life example of how you could actually do 15x more money by niching down the same product. You see, when we first discovered this trick, it changed everything. We'd launched and sold a product known as memory foam bed pillows. It's not a sexy product. But if we were to sell a normal memory foam pillow without targeting any specific sub-niche, then we would just get normal bed pillow prices. And let me ask you. How much would you think a normal memory foam bed pillow should sell for? Is it $10? Is it $15? Is it $20? For us, it was $19.99. When our pillow, though, targeted a more specific buyer, 
we could increase the price, so we did, and the results have been remarkable. Now let's continue on our niching down journey with the pillow and rename this exact same product to Shredded Memory Foam Pillow for stomach and back sleepers. You see, we know that a chronic snorer or side sleeper would perceive, perceive more value out of this product, and therefore we were able to sell it for $39.99. Now we're already at 2x the price, but I think we can do a lot better. Imagine you're suffering from terrible neck or shoulder pain, and we offered you a hypoallergenic bamboo-covered shredded foam, memory foam pillow designed specifically for shoulder and neck pain relief at a price of $104. Now, would it be possible that you'd consider paying that much? Yes, you most likely would because we've spoken directly to your specific pain. So our product has a much higher perceived value versus a regular bed pillow and becomes your obvious choice, right? Are you sold yet? So just for dramatic demonstration, let's say that you just recently had surgery and your doctor instructed you, wrote a prescription for you to go buy a medical grade hypoallergenic adjustable shredded memory foam pillow designed for post-surgery support. You would eagerly fork over $180 for that pillow, wouldn't you? Besides, the doctor told you to. You see, I want you to understand that simply changing who that you're targeting with your product can dramatically impact how much you can charge. In fact, this is literally a page out of our book. It shows you how we were able to ascend the value ladder with our exact same product by niching down to a specific niche within our category. The idea is that we need to leverage the experience that you already have from your existing successful Amazon listing to clone your success. This allows you to grab more exposure on the page one search results, command more traffic from Amazon buyers and capture more sales. Usually you will literally double your sales the very first try and then repeat this process until you've dominated the category. I'm gonna go through this step-by-step -step momentarily, so don't go anywhere. You already know, right? That you're only capturing a small percentage of the market for your product. Your competitors are getting the rest. When you implement this strategy correctly, you can then capture the lion's share of all sales for your category. And we've been doing this since 2014 with massive success. Now, I know the idea is easy for me to explain, but it's very difficult to learn. So try to pay attention here and grasp this the very first time. Because with this simple and powerful strategy, all you're really doing, you're repositioning your product to appeal to a unique segment of your market. All right, all you're really doing is reposition it. Remember, it's the exact same product, the exact same packaging, the exact same brand. Let's say, hypothetically, your type of product, whether you're selling toilet seats or pizza cutters or pump handles, doesn't matter. Your type of product is creating 1,000 sales per day on Amazon across all sellers, all brands, and all listings. Your listing, though, is capturing just 100 or 10% of these orders. So if you had another successful listing that could also grab 100 orders per day, then you double your sales, right? Exactly. And we've repeated this process up to seven times with similar results. Those other 900 or those other listings rather are grabbing the other 900 orders. Why not be you? You see, you have power, my friend. As a private label brand owner, you get to decide what is considered a new product simply by relabeling with a different UPC. Think about this. Amazon doesn't question Nike when they release a new shoe, right? They simply scan the inventory into a new listing. Let me show you a hack that you can quickly use right now for finding sub niches on Amazon. Let's say you're selling crowns. If you go to Amazon and you type the word crowns for, you're gonna see crowns for toddlers, for kids, for adult coloring, for babies, right? Pillows for neck pain, for couch, for side sleeper, for bed, for stomach sleeper, for couch and sofa, for back sleepers, pizza cutter for, lamp for, vitamin C for, supplements for, hairbrush for, a jump rope for, or say a dog leash for two dogs, for small dog, for yard dog, for car, for running, for bike riding, for waste. You see the difference? This one stands out, dog leash for large dogs. A large dog gets treated differently than a small dog, right? So let's say that you're selling dog leashes and things are going well. Your listing is ranked very well for the keyword dog leash. 
But what if your customer is searching for a dog leash for her German Shepherd? Which one will she buy? Will she buy this generic dog leash for $9.99 or this dog leash for $16? It's obviously a better fit for a German Shepherd. The latter speaks specifically to the shopper and eliminates the need for further research. You could just be lazy and purchase the leash that works well with your dog. What you're doing is capturing more shelf space, just like Tylenol does with its product positioning. You can do a Yorkshire Terrier dog leash. You can do a Collie, a Pitbull, a Gold Retriever, a Black Lab. The sky's the limit here. Here's why this works so well. The reason it works so well it's because now you can speak directly to one customer at a time, allowing you to charge more, convert higher, rank better, make more money, and take up more Amazon real estate, also known as page space. We can make this even more powerful because you can clone any already successful listing with slight product repositioning and rank for the exact same keywords. For example, we had eight, yes, eight of the listings on page one for the keyword bamboo pillow. When we launched our bamboo pillow business, we quickly got to about 30K per month, but then our sales stalled out a little bit. This is what our business looked like. We had to sell a bamboo pillow with one listing that targeted everyone on Amazon. Dumb, 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 dumb. We wanted to grow, so we tried all the common growth approaches. We tried spending more on ads. We tried rebate funnels. We even tried split testing our copy and our images, but we were stuck at 30 grand per month. Have you ever felt like this? Here's what our pillow business looked like after creative cloning. After creative cloning, our business was able to target side sleepers, back sleepers, stomach sleepers, and then tons of sub niches within the same category. This is like going fishing and fishing with multiple bait in the water versus just one single pole and one, one piece of bait, right? It allows you a better opportunity to capture that sale on Amazon. That's why our sales went from 30K to 300,000 per month. And then we sold that business. We 10 x our sales. And all we had to do is re-sticker some of our inventory with a new UPC barcode. And then we changed our images, our titles, our bullets. Remember, the original listing stayed the same. But with the new listing, we made all these changes and slightly were able to speak more directly to customers drawn to a certain language pattern or sleeping styles in each one of our cloned listings. This is easy because we use the exact same inventory that we already had on hand, and we knew all the best keywords so we could easily rank, right? We were able to target the same keywords with our listing. This was all within the same brand. Why is this so amazing? Look, this is like shooting at your target with a rifle versus a shotgun, allowing you to target your buyers with laser accuracy. We've used this on numerous products, not just the pillow. You see, the pillow is just easier for me to explain because every position on Amazon search results page is worth a percentage of sales for that niche. True? For our pillow business, we had eight listings on page one for the search term bamboo pillow. Now, of course, you can only capture so much market share by having just one listing in a niche. As you add different listings that position the product differently, you'll capture more of the search results page, and therefore, you'll end up with a lot more sales. Are you with me so far? Maybe you're asking, is this against terms of service? Listen, this is completely within Amazon terms of service. Because as the brand owner, you get to decide what is a different product simply by assigning the product a new UPC. Look at these two different shoes from Nike. They look exactly the same, right? Amazon's not opening up the boxes to these products and saying, hey, these things look too sim similar, right? No, they simply recognize it as a new product because Nike assigned it to a new UPC. And the same applies to your business. And maybe you're thinking, will I be competing against myself? Well, not really in the way that you think. When it comes to competing with yourself, listen, your competition's competing with you every single day. Why not hold an extra position and compete with yourself, but capture a lot more sales? Nike already knows that taking up more shelf space in the shoe store is going to net them more sales, even though the shoes look similar. Tylenol knows that the more options they have on a shelf, the more chances to grab buyer's attention for a specific need. 
most of you are completely missing this opportunity, even though it's one of the biggest opportunities that's sitting right in front of you. Think about this. You've already done the product research. You have a supplier. You know the keywords. You already have photos. You already have packaging. You already know exactly how to launch your product. Copy what you already know and double your business. Let's talk about an action list, and then I'll open up brief, briefly for questions, okay? We'll answer a few questions live, and I have tons more content, so we need to blow through this, and then Seth and I will stay here until all your questions are answered, although Seth is in the background right now answering questions. All right, here's your action list. You need to first decide which product you want to try this on first. Find out who is buying that product and why. Identify at least five sub-niche targets for your product. Let's say you're selling crayons, right? Maybe crayons for preschool teachers, for stay-at-home moms, for daycare operators, for restaurant kids' menus. Crayons for fill-in-the-blank. All right? Number one, identify five opportunities to niche down. Create duplicated listings, retargeting your sub-niches. Write those listings in a language and a tone that makes sense for that avatar. And I'm going to break these out here in just a minute. Call them out specifically inside your listing title and then speak to his or her specific need or interest in your description and solve their problem in your images. Resticker a little bit of your inventory. Now, let's break these open here just a little bit, uh, one, one um, step at a time so you understand exactly how to go about this. All right, we're doing good on time. So number one, identify five opportunities for niching down. Use the Amazon search autofill hack that I showed you earlier. Scroll down your listing to the buy it with section for some other ideas. Simply ask your customer what other purchases they've made in your niche as part of their brand awareness campaign, right? You can only do this if you have a list, of course. Post in your social media channels asking for new product ideas for your brand. Research your target market for trends on Google. And then follow other similar brands to see what they're doing. Make sense? Step two, create duplicated listings targeting your sub niches. What you want to do, keep your initial listing the same. Don't change that one. It's already successful. Create new listings one by one that speak to a particular sub niche and optimize those listings accordingly. Be sure that you change the images, change the title and description to be congruent with your product's positioning. And remember, you're selling the exact same product, but with a different position in the market. Like this, maybe you have marine grade, industrial grade, restaurant quality, kid-friendly, senior-friendly, travel safe. You get the idea, all right? Now, let's dive into step three. Write in a language and tone that makes sense for your avatar. Remember that you have to speak differently so that they'll feel more understood. Example, housewives versus young mothers. You're not going to want to talk to these exactly the same. They're similar, but they're different. You're going to want to adopt any nomenclature that's relevant to that niche, right? Like this, and try to answer any questions they're already asking themselves. Maybe they're thinking, hey, I wonder if this is dishwasher safe. And then show them that it is in your images and your description. Call them out specifically inside your title. You want to speak to that customer avatar. Remember in the mafia offer, who are we selling to? So instead of just saying, hey, you, what if I said, Hey, you, Kevin King. Well, if your name was actually Kevin King, you'd probably listen up, right? Here's an example. Kids safe product, great for young moms. Senior friendly mobile phone, German shepherd dog leash, perfect for fill in the blank. Get creative and split test this stuff. All right, step number five, let's unpack this one. Speak to his or her specific need or interest in your description like this. Dog leash, perfect for German shepherd. Well, diabetic-friendly socks, no seams. Chicago-style pizza cutter makes whatever. Boater's dream come true, marine-grade beanbag chair. You can buy a beanbag chair at Walmart for 30 bucks. But if you get a marine-grade beanbag chair good for your boat, it's $300. Don't believe me? Go check it out. Step six, show his or her problems solved in your images. Your image in your listing should answer the question that the prospect's already asking himself. Show your product being used by someone who looks like your avatar. If you're selling to young single men, don't show an old grandma in your image. Make sense? Show a young mother with her infant opening the jar of pickles. that says, young mother's ideal jar opener. Show a mariner 
on his yacht, sitting in the beanbag chair. You get the idea, right? Here's the most important part. And this is where most of you get this wrong. You're overthinking it. You'll simply re-sticker or have your 3PL agency re-sticker and put your new UPC barcode sticker on top of your existing barcode on a small percentage of your inventory, not all of it, and then send that inventory to Amazon FBA, okay? You cannot have Amazon re-sticker this for you. They'll just get confused. All right, for extra credit, clone your already optimized and successful listing like we did with the pillows. If you have a product that you've launched recently, it's already going well, then the easiest way to apply this strategy is to clone exactly what you did the first time, but with a slightly different positioning. Positioning just means who is the product positioned for? Is it Chicago-style pizza cutter, New York-style pizza cutter, restaurant-grade pizza cutter, marine-grade pizza cutter? Is it a two-pack, a three-pack? Is it a dishwasher-safe pizza cutter? Is it stainless steel? You understand? You can target all of the same keywords and take advantage of the gap in the market that you've discovered. Just follow the model that I showed you with our bamboo pillow. Now, more importantly, when should you not clone your listing? Simply put, it's when you don't like the results that you're getting. And people always ask this question. The answer is simple. Don't create more of a bad situation. If it's too competitive, low profit margins, or hard to rank, don't do that. You only want to create more of something that is already working well. Are you with me? Because the only thing worse than working in the wrong direction is working in the wrong direction enthusiastically. And that's where we get it wrong. So, Seth, how are we looking on uh, Q&A before I jump into part number two of Kevin's special invitation only 2023 yeah. killer Amazon cash machine with I'm, myself? I'm trying to keep up. Um, so really good questions. Um, people are asking a question like, hey, what did you mean by part one of four? So, guys, we have three completely different strategies coming up here in a moment. Um, but as far as the cloning questions, people are saying, can I use my same product and just reposition the listing? Yes. And it can be underneath the same brand. The only thing you need to do is rebarcode it and then build a new listing. So then you're attracting a different type of customer, right? And then we have another one, um, like uh, somebody sells supplements. And he said, given the hassle basically that it is to get a supplement approved, is it worth it? And yes, it is worth it because imagine this, say if you're selling um, you know, vitamin C, right. And, but you're the only listing on the page that's vitamin C for prenatal, or you're the only listing on the page, vitamin C for, you know, name the affliction or name the type of customer. And you can dominate that tiny little sub niche because you're the only listing showing up for that ailment. Um, people are asking about competing with themselves on PPC. So it depends on how you do it guys. But basically like Sean mentioned and, and drew your attention to that, you're going to have multiple listings on page one for the same keyword, or you can niche down and talk to a specific customer and, and then dominate that little sub niche. So great, great questions. If you have any other questions, I, I'm hoping I can keep, keep up with everything on the back end, Sean. But uh, so far, I think we're, we're, we should be in good shape to move on to part two. Before we do that, I just want to find out where everyone's calling in from, uh, Seth. So oh, yeah. if, if you're joining us on this call live, why don't you just type in the box there where you are calling from. So where are you from? I see one from Scotland, from Texas coming in there, Seth. What do you have? Yeah, let's see here. We have, whew, I'm trying to keep up. Um, Andy's <laughs> from Scotland. Diana's from Charlotte, North Carolina. Michael from Texas. Mac from Pakistan. Aisha from Orange County, Cal California. AJ, Charlotte, North Carolina. Imran, London. Dax, New Jersey. Cyprus from Mike. Germany, Christoph. William, Lexington, Kentucky. Babak, um, Los Angeles. Rob, Toronto. James, Panama City Beach, Florida. Uh, Michelle, Canada. <laughs> New York, Atlanta, sunny Florida, Japan, Oregon, Brussels, Newport Beach, Ecuador, Pakistan. I can't keep up, Sean. There's, <laughs> there's real, there's literally too many. I wanna, but I want to welcome appreciate Andy you from all. Iraq. <laughs> Andy's here, and we have Christina from Romania. We have uh, we have one from Indiana. We have Melanie from New Mexico. Santa Claus, Indiana says Don. There's more than corn in Indiana here. So we have uh, Siva from India. We have Amaja from the UK. I was just there last week or two weeks ago, rather. Mike. And then we have from Lithuania. Lithuania. <laughs> they're, they're all, how's it say? Lithuania. Lithu Lithuania. Where in the heck is Lithuania? <laughs> That's in Europe, buddy. You were just nearby. <laughs> oh, like Eastern Europe, it sounds like. There you go. 
All right. So Mike says, you guys are great. Let's jump in. Set the part number two. Okay. This is the main reason why Kevin invited you here today. This is going to literally blow your mind, but I have to admit, this is very important. You're not going to get anything out of today's presentation if you're not paying attention. So please turn off notifications, close the other tabs on your computer, exit social media, and pay attention because, listen, you will never get an opportunity to see this exact presentation again, and I guarantee your competition that's here from all over the world that are listening and taking notes. So what I'm sharing with you will literally give you a massive advantage and is the most profitable thing you could be doing with your time right now. So go ahead and rest assured and feel good about giving me your undivided attention. Let's launch a quick poll here, Seth. I want to say, I want to ask you to just type your answer in the question box. What is the most valuable asset of any business? Is it your product? Is it the real estate? Is it your customer? Is it your brand, the goodwill, reputation of that brand? Is it your website URL? Just go ahead and vote here and we'll answer that. Now, there are a lot of valuable parts to any business. But for every business, there's one item that is the most valuable asset. Seth, let's not let, let the poll run the whole course here. I want to move quickly. So let's go ahead and end that and share the results and show me what we have here. So we have most of you are admitting that the customer is the most valuable asset, 52% of you. All right. A lot of you say the goodwill. No one picks the website. I'm not looking at the question box there, Seth. Do you have anything extraordinary in the Q&A? Um, real estate, customer, product, creator, product, and then everybody jumped into the poll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did. Okay, cool. So listen, for those of you who said the customer list, let me just get this off my screen. For those of you who said the customer is the most valuable asset, move to the head of the class because customers are the most valuable asset of any business. And listen, if you don't believe me, look at that list and tell me, Besides the customer, what's the only other thing that you literally cannot have a business without? It's the customer. If there's no one there to tell your story to make sales, then guess what? You don't have a business. You just have an expensive hobby. In fact, I'm going to give you a free valuable gift right now. All right. This is not for sale. You can't buy this anywhere, but thanks to our friends over at Zon Support. What's his name again? Reynolds? Greg Reynolds? Greg, Greg Reynolds, who is here today with us. Greg Reynolds is here. All right. Thank you, Greg. I want to share with you Greg's master customer care template. All right. And Greg, you get 100% of the credit for this. You can go download this. No strings attached. Go to pppro.co slash customer care, or simply scan the QR code. There's no opt-in. There's no strings attached. It looks like this. You'll have a simple copy and paste solution to use for handling most of your Amazon customer email requests. This is yours. Absolutely free to use just as a thank you for joining us live today. And again, it's pppro.co slash customer care. Now, let me show you how I sold an additional $62,730,000 on Amazon with these next three simple steps, simple secrets. I've shared this with Jason Fladley and my friend Norm Farrar, Paul Barron, Travis Ziegler, Tim Jordan, Stephen Pope, Ryan Moran, even Kevin King. And what do they have in common? They were all completely blown away by what I'm sharing with you today. So let me make a promise. I'm going to show you in the next 60 minutes why everything you thought you knew about growing your Amazon business is wrong and how you should instead be leveraging Amazon to create a wildly profitable and valuable business instead of just being an order fulfiller. But why are you here? Are you here just to consume valuable information and do nothing? I hope not. So I want to make sure that this is a productive call, Seth, and I want folks to commit to taking action. I want you to type in the chat box, I promise, if you see something that you think can help you achieve your goals today, that you'll take action. Please type in the question box right now the words, I promise, if you will be one of the few action takers in this world today, Seth. Okay, here. Um, Jonathan's in. Diana, William, James, Andy, Paul, Allison, Vernon, Osama, <laughs> Guadalupe, Aisha, Imran, uh, Fossey Houdin, uh, <laughs> Gary, one. George, Michelle, Dax, Mike, Ar Arno, um, Christina, Diana, Gustavo, Rob, Emma, Don, Brita, or Brita. Uh, Jeanette, Tom, AJ, Alma, Darcy, Jacob, George. We, we got them all, Sean. I, okay. I really would be here all day. All right. Let's just assume that everyone's smart and you're going to be action takers. All right. Let me share something with you. There are three 
core misbeliefs that Seth and I have discovered in our industry for Amazon sellers. And I want to share those with you now. Number one, you believe that the best way to make more money is to attract new customers. Or number two, you believe that customers who are already on Amazon.com shopping are the best source of traffic you have. Or finally, you're hooked on spending money on sponsored ads to create more sales. Now, if you believe just one or all three of these, then today's presentation will turn your world upside down. And you, my friend, will begin a new journey toward amazing Amazon success, finally armed with new knowledge that will leave your competitors astonished at your rapid climb to the top of the e-com food chain. And once you understand why this is wrong, it will completely change the way you view your business and unlock massive profitability. And you'll finally understand how the most successful sellers around the world are operating their business. I have three goals for you today. Okay. Number one, I want you to see that the only way to grow to insane success on Amazon is to take control of your customer's journey. More on that coming up. Number two, I want you, yes, you to realize that the longer you put this stuff off, the more at risk your business will be for collapse. And finally, I want you to know exactly what you need to do to instantly take control. And instead of playing in Amazon's card game, you, my friend, are dealing the cards and you have a handful of aces. But first, Seth, let me give away something else valuable. Our book, Private Label Millionaire Secrets, on sale at Amazon for $24.95. You can go download a free PDF copy right now, no strings attached, if you simply go to ppro.co slash PLMS. Seth, can you go ahead and put that in the chat box so folks can just click on it? Yep, I'm on it. Private Label Millionaire Secrets is our book. It's our gift to you. It'll show you how to find your starving crowd and make a mafia offer that demands attention and converts like crazy so that you can make your first or your next million with a private label brand. Just go to ppro.co slash PLMS or click the URL in the chat box. 41% of my Amazon, Amazon revenue comes from the three simple steps that I'll be sharing shortly. It's important that you understand this because this number has been true across the board for the most successful sellers that I've seen around the planet. Now, 41% may not seem like a lot, but for us, that, that accounts to over $62 million. When we finish today, you'll know exactly how you can go about grabbing those extra millions in profits that you're currently leaving behind. These extra profits are being taken by other sellers. And these profits won't take any more work on your behalf. And the longer you wait to fix this, the more it's going to cost you. So it's urgent, my friend, that you take action, just like you promised and get started right away. Let me show you how. Don't leave or you'll likely miss the true secret. If you're ready to stop losing to your competitors, take control, make millions more, then you're in the right place. But before I jump in, I need to admit something embarrassing to you. I know it's embarrassing, but let's just get it out of the way. Tear the Band-Aid off, right? I am terrible at organization. I'm horrible at keeping books and managing teams and business opportunities. But thankfully for you, I've become an absolute expert at turning existing Amazon businesses into profit gushing machines. Here's how it happened. When I started selling on Amazon back in 2013, I accidentally did things differently. It was by accident that I got this right. You see, I came from building businesses on my own, just like Kevin talked about earlier way before the internet and Amazon, without the help of Amazon, right? I was responsible for it all. I had to drive my own traffic, fulfill my own orders, build customer trust, and squeeze every bit of profit that I could from the business. This was incredibly difficult. But later, it gave me a huge advantage because when I finally started to sell on Amazon, I put a tremendous amount of effort into creating relationships with my customers because that's the only way I knew how to make profits in my previous business. In fact, my approach was dramatically different than everyone else on Amazon and allowed us to create dozens of businesses, 53 unique brands, and launch over 1,000 private label products. It was only later that I realized how differently I operated from the average Amazon seller and how much faster I was able to grow because I was much more profitable than others. Look, when you get this stuff right, you can take control of your future, create a much more valuable business, and quickly and easily duplicate your success. Your customers will be a lot happier, and when they are, you'll make a lot more money. This is what happened for me. 
Before I took my business online through Amazon FBA, my entire business survival was built on what we call post-purchase sales. That is sales that are created after the customer's initial purchase with me. Now, this isn't going to be irrelevant to you, but I want you to truly understand where I learned these core concepts. Because this business, this product called iHeater, I sold this company about a decade ago. I was grossing about $27 million per year, but we only made a profit from our back-end sales. Without a robust back-end marketing strategy, I would have been bankrupt the very first year. But with it, we were wildly profitable for three years before selling out to private equity. Now, here's an example. This quarter-page newspaper ad, don't worry, this has nothing to do with placing newspaper ads or selling netbooks. This is only so you get the concept. Bear with me here. This little quarter-page newspaper ad produced over $9 million in profits for me in just eight weeks back in 2011. But what's the true secret to its success? All right. Don't worry, you're not going to be placing ads. I just want to help you understand how impactful this will be for your Amazon business real quick. The secret to his success, you should already know, was post-purchase offers. You see, after my customer purchased an initial computer, netbook, we sold additional units, express shipping, tech support, extended warranties, and lots of other upsells. But here's a funny, sad, but true story. I had someone actually working inside of my company. Yes, on my payroll, who was trying to copy our success with this campaign using this ugly knockoff of my ad. He even sold the same product at a higher price and had access to all my best media outlets, but he didn't make any profits. Why? Well, you can probably guess. Have you ever tried to copy a product listing on Amazon, but you couldn't make it profitable? Have you ever launched a new listing? and lost money while your competitors seem to thrive? Have you ever, like me, wondered, how can they sell this at a lower price but make huge profits? Well, here's the difference. Our selling price was a little different. He sold for $20 more, but our cost of goods was the same. Cost of selling and marketing was the same. Shipping was very similar. My profit per order, though, was $119. Yes, his profit per order was just $1 before customer returns. How is this possible? How could I profit $119 for every sale and pocket 9 million bucks while this guy lost money? It's average order values. You see, my average order value was 312 while his was just 179. We were able to sell more products immediately to the customers on the phone and other products over the next several months. That's how we were able to profit $9 million while he lost money, because we had an entire sales process that would leverage our relationship with each caller and provide more offers and more value, increasing the average order value and coincidentally the lifetime value of each customer. This is what I mean when it's controlling the customer's journey. And at this point you say, okay, that's all well and good, Sean. Well, what the heck has this got to do with my Amazon business? Well, here's what most sellers do. You create a sale on Amazon, and then what? And then you go out looking for new customers using sponsored ads or whatever the latest ranking hack is. And you forget about the most valuable part, the customer. Here's what your business should look like. You create a sale on Amazon, you pocket a little cash. You send a follow-up email, you make more sales. Maybe you send out a text message and you make another sale. Maybe you send a postcard in the mail and you make another sale. Doesn't matter the media or how you send the message. The only thing that matters is the post-purchase marketing. It's all the magic that happens after your customer's initial purchase. And why is this better? It's because your existing customers are the most likely people in the world to buy from you again. When you can sell to the same customer, you no longer have to pay any advertising. So you're not wasting your profit on sponsored ads. By sending your customers back to your Amazon listing, this also triggers the strongest signal to Amazon's ranking algorithm to rank your products higher in search because the traffic is coming from an external source. And this completely changes the game of building a business on Amazon. Now, I'm guessing you're like me and most other humans. You buy from the same stores over and over, don't you? You buy the same brands time and time again, right? We buy from the brands and the stores that we already know, like, and trust. 
your customers on Amazon are exactly the same. And that's why this was so important and why Kevin, our friend Kevin King, got so excited when he knew what I was sharing with you today. Now, you want to see how you can apply this to Amazon like we did? Let me tell you another quick story that changed everything. In 2014, I literally stumbled across the power of post-purchase marketing for Amazon, and it completely blew me away too. You see, just like you, I began building my business on Amazon, right? Just like everyone else. And since Amazon was making it so easy to create sales, I almost fell into the same trap that most customer or sellers fall into, the trap of ignoring my customers. But then one day, our friend, Dr. Charles Livingston, yes, that's him in Inc. Magazine, co-founder of one of the most successful coffee brands, Life Boost Coffee, him and uh, maybe you know his business partner, Matt Clark. He walks into my office and he notices this pile, this stack of warranty registration cards that we were collecting from a product we were selling on Amazon. Charlie says, hey, what do you guys plan on doing with all the customer information? I said, oh, no big deal, Charlie. All we're going to do is send out an email and ask for a review. He said, is that all? Are you crazy, Sean? Are you guys not using email and text to create more sales? And then it hit me. This was the aha moment for me. I was just about to realize that all of those skills that I picked up from my direct response world were even more valuable when mixed with the power of Amazon. Remember, in my previous business, I understood the power of my customer list, but somehow Amazon made making sales so easy that I lost my way. But that was about to change forever because Charlie created our very first brand avatar, the Sleepy Panda for Original Bamboo Pillow. And Charlie says, hey, look, I'll write your first email marketing sequence for your pillow brand and I'll create an avatar. And he sent an email. And oh my God, the day that first email went out, I thought that a huge discount code had been leaked on Slick Deals because our sales for this product jumped by more than $21,000 in the first day from one single email. But it didn't stop there. The second email created even more sales. And the crazy part, we were selling the exact same product that they had already purchased. I was thinking, why in the heck would someone need more than one of these pillows? But it's not our job to answer the question as sellers. It's my job to ask the question. So I surveyed my customers and found that they were buying them for best uh, guest rooms, second homes, RVs, Airbnbs, gifts for friends, and all kinds of other things. In fact, later we found out and the data still proves that the product that your customer is most likely to buy from you again is the product that they already bought. And that fact changes everything because we had customers buy the exact same product from us 27, 25, 23 different times. Isn't this insane? What if all of your customers purchased from you more than one time? Would that really make a big difference? Well, it's an even bigger difference than you can imagine. Here's why this is so powerful for you. Your profitability goes through the roof because when you create these additional sales, you pay no extra marketing costs. So every extra order is at your maximum profitability and Amazon rewards listings that attract high quality external traffic, which is exactly what this is and they're rewarding you with higher keyword ranking. Let me repeat that again in case you missed it. Amazon rewards your listings that are attracting high quality external traffic with higher keyword ranking. This means that every time we send an email marketing message that sends traffic back to our Amazon listings, we create more sales now and then even more sales ongoing because our listings are now showing up higher in keyword rankings when customers are searching Amazon. And that's how we figured out the reason that our sales continued to rise after those initial marketing messages that Charlie sent out for us. So last year I had a secret interview with an Amazon employee, all right? This employee worked closely with the Amazon algorithm team and I shared my theory on what we'd been seeing working. I said, listen, we're sending traffic back to our listing through email marketing. Even though the, the traffic's not converting, we're seeing a lift in our ranking. And he says, yes. He confirmed my assumptions. He literally says, Sean, you're not reading tea leaves. What you're reading are binary truths because traffic from a clean URL that's already shown to be high quality is getting higher weight from Amazon. And now Amazon is admitting this publicly. Amazon features Amazon ads partner spotlight webinars. These webinars are designed to help you and I learn how to maximize our Amazon business with their trusted partner services. This short clip I'm going to play for you 
comes from a recent webinar where Amazon's AJ sits down with our friends over at Amped.io to discuss the use of outside traffic sent through brand referral bonus links. Let's take a listen. Lumino in particular saw that their rankings climbed as more customers considered the brand for their need. Um, also proved effective in overcoming the cold start, so accelerating the ramp of new ACEs that they've introduced to customers, um, also improving deals visibility and overall sales. That is amazing, and this is going to make a lot more sense to you very, very shortly. But first, Seth, I want to jump into the three simple secrets now, all right? It's through these three simple secrets that I discovered by accident and applied to my business that's allowed me to grow faster, be more profitable, and finally exit 17 businesses for millions of dollars. For you to really understand this, though, I'm going to show you what these marketing secrets look like in real life so you truly understand. So we're going to do an interactive lesson right now, okay? I want you to have permission to open a new tab. I want you to go to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson. All right, go ahead and do that now. Yes, I'm talking to you that are here live. Go to postpurchasepro.com slash lesson. Now, when you get to this page, all you have to do is input an email that you can actually get a response on. All right, this is going to be part of an interactive example that's coming up that's going to blow your mind. So it's important that you complete this right now. This is not going to be part of a replay. So take this part out of the, of the recording. It won't make sense later. All right, so you need to do this now. In case you thought I was just trying to get your email address, remember, we emailed you to get you here. We already have your email address. So it's not some, some trick or ploy to uh, capture you as a lead, all right, just in case you were suspicious about that. If you go to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson right now, this is what it looks like. The only thing you have to do is input an email and then click confirm. Now, make sure this is a real email address because I'm going to send you something that's going to make sense to you, all right? We're going to talk about this more coming up. So please pay attention because this important step uh, will make sense to you later in the presentation. So once you've got it, I want you to go there and say, yes, I'm finished. Go to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson and then type into the question box. Let me know that you completed this step, Seth. Yep. So Diana says it's at 93% complete. So as soon as you guys complete the that first step, then it'll say 93% complete. And then don't worry, later on, we're going to complete that. So here in a moment, um, in a few moments, moments, Sean's going to come back and circle back and show you the actual lesson that you're a part of. So if you, if it says 93%, you're in good shape, just let us know in the chat box and we will keep going. All right. All good. All right. So I'm going to share these three secrets with you. Secret number one, I'm going to show you how to compel your Amazon customers. Yes. Those shopping on Amazon to engage with your business at the point of purchase with what I call an attention getting marketing device. In secret two, coming up, I'm going to show you how you can collect and manage your customer's contact information using a strategic funnel with a valuable mafia offer. You don't want to want to miss that. In secret number three, I'm going to show how to follow up with your customers post-purchase with what we call monetization marketing. And this monetization marketing sequence will offer customer service. It'll enhance your customer's user experience. And it'll also include offers to buy more. Now, when you apply these three secrets, what will this do for your brand? This will allow you to create an extremely valuable list of your customers. You can build profitable relationships that generate repeat orders anytime you like. You can drive much more profitable sales, create a ton of more natural reviews, and push your search term rankings higher and higher on the page, making you a lot more money. It's just good business practice that 94% of you sellers are not even thinking about. Did you listen to some of Kevin's uh, pre-call videos that I've recorded with him and some of the emails that he sent out to you? It's so important that you control this part of your business. In fact, the customer's journey in that contact list, as we said, is the most valuable asset of any business. What I'm showing you in today's call, it's in practice every single day up and down Main Street in bricks and mortar stores. So it's no secret. We didn't invent this but these amazing results are being manifested in our Amazon brands using the same ideas that grow physical storefront businesses. I've simply applied it to Amazon. So let's take a look at secret number one, how to compel your Amazon customers to engage with your business at the point of purchase with an attention getting marketing device. I can see Seth right now that this call is completely maxed out. So we will not 
allow you back in. If you leave, you're going to miss your spot because the waiting room's full and the call is full. So don't go anywhere or you will miss these three core secrets. Remember this, these misbeliefs that we've identified in our industry, unfortunately, you believe that the best way to make more money is to attract new customers, or you believe that customers already shopping at amazon.com are the best source of traffic you have, or maybe you're hooked on spending money on sponsored ads to get more keyword ranking. Well, here's the reality. The best way to make more money, more profitably, is to sell your existing customers. And the best source of traffic is your existing customer list. I'll show you why in a minute. And you must only use sponsored ads, paid ads, right? To attract new customers into your business so that you can sell to them over and over. Don't ever be hooked on spending money on sponsored ads as a way to grow your sales. Because when you do, as you already know, your profit's gonna keep spiraling down. Think about this instead. When you own and control your traffic, you can create sales on demand, right? Because now you know that your customer's first order on Amazon is only the beginning. When you can orchestrate what we call post-purchase marketing, you no longer need to rely on new buyer traffic or sponsored ads. And with this, your business becomes what we call a profitable customer acquisition channel. Just say that out loud to yourself because you're going to hear it again later. Say profitable customer acquisition channel. Don't worry, it's going to make sense. And when you have this, your Amazon business can generate tons of free cash flow and profit whenever you like. Here's another story. Back when I first started to sell on Amazon, I had a huge problem. You see, I already know the power of a customer list. And I knew that if I had a customer list, I could make it rain money. We could produce sales on demand and we could drive keyword ranking to produce even more sales. We could increase our profits substantially, but here's the problem. Amazon also knows how valuable customer lists are. And that's why they try to prevent you and I from building our own valuable customer list. Because Amazon wants control. They want to own and control the most valuable asset, the customer list. Think about it. They continue to blocking more and more access of the customer's information that you and I are serving, right? They're not going to show you the email, the mailing address, the phone number. You're lucky if you get a first name and a state. They're trying to keep all of this information for themselves. So what can we do? Well, first of all, we have to think about terms of service. And we have to stay within TOS. So we have to create a situation where customers from Amazon are choosing to seek you out. The simplest way to start building your own customer list is to, duh, include a product insert with your product. But most of you are totally screwing this up. And I was no different. We were just like you. We created a product insert that said, hey, go register your warranty or join my VIP club. You can probably guess what happened, can't you? Hardly anyone opted in. Can you relate? <laughs> but I had a huge advantage. Remember, I've launched over 1,000 private label products. So I was forced to create hundreds of unique product inserts. And I finally started to see patterns of what made product inserts successful or not. Eventually, we developed a formula to create high converting product inserts. And here's what I figured out. You ready for it? Every single product serves a unique customer. And to create a product insert that converts, you must think about your customer's perspective. You must, must, must put yourself in the mind of your customer at the time of opening your package and ask this simple question. What offer would be so compelling that my customer would literally drop what they're doing and take action on the offer right now? And of course, there are a lot of psychological triggers that you can use to boost your opt-ins, but at the core, you must, my friend, create a mafia offer. A mafia offer is an offer that's so good, people would feel stupid saying no. So you're probably asking yourself, what's a good mafia offer? Is this a mafia offer? Join our VIP club? Heck no. That ain't no mafia offer. What about register your warranty? That's good, right? This is not a mafia offer. Get 20% off your next purchase, maybe? That's a little bit improvement, but it's still not a mafia offer. A mafia offer speaks directly to your customer's core desires. It's not just some bland, generic offer that might appeal to some of your customers. Maybe something you've seen someone else do. No. Let's imagine for a moment that you are selling a fat loss fitness product and you create an offer like this okay 
go here and opt in with an email address and I'll give you a complimentary digital membership with the top 17 workouts for fat loss. I'll also give you first in line access to new product launches, free body tape measure, lifetime priority customer service, and a lifetime product replacement support. A total value of over $500. That is a mafia offer. And when we got this stuff right, my opt-ins went from less than 1% to over 88% in some cases. Once you too create a mafia offer, you no longer have a product insert, my friend. You have what I call an attention-getting marketing device. Here's what we do. Step one, we create an attention-getting marketing device, and we're going to unpack each one of these steps. Step two, we offer tremendous value for your customer to drive engagement. We then make sure we never ask for something that's against terms of service, like sending a review or sending to an off-site website to make a purchase. That's a big no-no. We like to offer an incredible product experience by supporting your product and give your customers a way to opt in to receive your promised value. Now let's take a look at each individual task. Step one, create an attention-getting marketing device. This very first step, it's where 87% of you are getting it wrong. So let's go ahead and talk about terms of service and get it out of the way. How many of you believe that product inserts are illegal or against terms of service? So in the chat box, give me a number one. If you believe product inserts are illegal, give me a number two. If you think product inserts are okay, Seth. Oh, um, we have Diana saying illegal. Andy says they're okay. Mike says they're okay. Randon says, okay. Darcy. Okay. Paul. Okay. Maxwell. He's a one. Tom's a two. Gustavo says, okay. Adrian's two. <laughs> David's two. I would say 90 percent ish, uh, agree that they're okay. Okay, well, that's a good start, isn't it? Because we get, you know, when I talk about this stuff, Seth, we get mixed comments all the time. For some reason, a lot of us think that product inserts are not okay. So let me be the first to admit that product inserts as a whole have gotten a bad name in recent history. In fact, we've probably all heard one war story or another about an Amazon seller getting his account banned for using inserts, right? It's not using the insert that's against terms of service. It's what you do with the information in the insert that becomes against terms of service. Think about this. If you buy a new pair of Nike sneakers, okay, and they have a, a QR code on the box that says scan here and download my Nike free run app, is that against terms of service? No way, man. That's enhancing your experience with the product, making it better. Every single major consumer package good, right, and national household brands like Tylenol, they all have information on in and or on the packaging that show how to opt in to receive more value. Questions or comments, call, email support, you know, things like that. What if you bought a new coffee maker on Amazon from Keurig and it says, go to Keurig.com and register your warrant. Is that against terms of service? No way. That's world-class customer service. They're trying to enhance your experience with the product. If you include video instructions so that your customer knows how to safely use your product without hurting himself or voiding the warranty, that's not against terms of service, right? Here's what we're seeing in other sellers in your product inserts, right? Please don't ever try to circumvent the ordering process and send them to your off-site, your off-Amazon site to order. Don't ever try to manipulate the reviews. And please don't try to trick Amazon's product ranking algorithm. All we have to do and step number two is offer tremendous value to your customer to drive their engagement. This always has to be about providing an excellent customer experience. And the value that you offer should be an absolute no-brainer where any reasonable Amazon shopper will want to stop and take action. You're going to need to come up with a value proposition that's in line with your product experience. Now, believe me, this is very important because I've seen stupid stuff like a hammer being offered. And your value proposition is a how to use video. Look, if you need to see a video on how to use a hammer, then you probably need to just go hire a carpenter. Wouldn't you agree? That just doesn't make sense. What we like to use is first in line access to product launches, valuable digital content that can be downloaded, product replacement programs, priority customer service, safety videos, instructional videos, complimentary bonus products, newsletters, downloads of an app, and things like that. It must be relevant to your customer. 
and then use psychological triggers to boost conversion, like urgency, scarcity, value, reciprocity, social proof, and authority. Step three, never ask for something that's against terms of service, like an honest, unbiased review or some ranking manipulation scheme. If you're trying to manipulate your ranking by using some black hat hack, or you try to bribe your customers with a free unit or money to leave an honest, unbiased review, then you're 100% breaking terms of service, and you will be caught. All you have to do is give value and keep the customer's experience top priority, and you'll win. Step four, offer an incredible product experience by supporting your product. Remember, this is about the end user's experience. This ain't about you. This is about demonstrating a world-class product experience and building a brand through awareness and support. This is the difference, my friend, in owning an Amazon business or owning a very valuable brand that you can sell for millions. Step five, we have to give your customers a way to opt in to receive the promised value. So your customer must have a way to engage right, with you so that they can redeem the proposed value from your mafia offer. You'll use the same core principles that we use when creating a mafia offer to make a landing page that captures your customer's email and phone number. Seth, before we jump into secret two, what do we have while I take a sip? Yes. So getting tons and tons of good um, feedback and, and um, action in the, the um, chat box here, Sean. So one of the questions that I asked was, what if all of your customers came back and bought for you from you a second time without having to spend any more money on sponsored ads to acquire the customer again, because you already have them. And uh, let me see here. I think it was Mike or um, Max said, my profit would go up by 400% because I'm spending all that money every day to acquire customers using PPC. So that's a really great insight is that if I can get just one more sale out of each one of my customers, but I don't have to spend that money on sponsored ads, then my profit goes up way more than double. So really good insight. So go ahead, Sean. Okay, so secret number two. Thank you, Seth. Secret number two, I'm going to show you how to collect and manage your customer's contact information using a strategic funnel, right, with a valuable mafia offer. Remember these core misbeliefs in our business? You think the best way to make more money is with new customers and the customers already shopping are the best source of traffic or you're hooked on spending all your profit on sponsored ads to create sales? Well, here's the reality. The best way to make more money more profitably is to sell your, or make more sales more profitably is to sell your existing customers. And the best source of traffic is your customer list if you have one. And you must only use sponsored ads to attract new customers, not so that you can transact with them once, so that you can sell to them again and again. Don't ever be hooked on sponsored ads as a way to grow, all right? Think about this instead. When you own your traffic, you create sales when you want because you know that your customer's first order on Amazon is only the beginning. When you can orchestrate post-purchase marketing, you no longer need to rely on new buyers or sponsored ads, and your business becomes a, I want you to say this out loud with me, profitable customer acquisition channel. Did you say it? And your business can generate tons of free cash flow. Let me tell you another story. You like stories? This one's funny. When we first started on Amazon, we were very unorganized. Our warehouse looked like a tornado had hit it. That's my brother on the left and another employee on the right in our warehouse wondering what to do with another load of inventory. Our staff was confused. That's Seth's brother, Caleb, on the fork truck. He didn't have any room to park the fork truck. And look, we were receiving huge piles of checks in the mail every single day. We even needed to have a laptop dedicated to each individual brand. It was madness. Now, even though we could produce massive results with our email campaigns, we were working hard. We weren't working smart. And then I discovered two magic words. Wait for it. Funnel automation. Once we discovered funnel automation, it was like nirvana. While everyone else was in the back of the office playing ping pong, Seth, Michael, and myself, we started attacking our follow-up marketing with a vengeance. Seth even slept in his office for a few days while we were setting everything up and all the automations with our newly, newly discovered tools. Anytime a new order was delivered, our customers all over the world 
would be surprised with great offers and reasons to join our mailing list. So we began building massive lists and taking control of the entire post-purchase marketing process with automations. And now, of course, we have an entire system in place for this. Here's a secret. Trust me on this. You cannot do this stuff manually. You must use automation tools to be successful. Or better yet, just hire someone who knows how to do this. Because 41%. It's just too much revenue to ignore. Here's what we do. Step one, your customer will follow a link, scan a QR code, or send a text message to claim your valuable mafia offer. Just like in the beginning, when I gave you our friend Greg Reynolds from Zon Support, I gave you his customer template. All you had to do was go to a URL or scan a QR code, right? It's simple. Step two, your strategic funnel will capture your customer's contact information and deliver the value you promised. Next, your funnel will automatically tag your customers in order to sort them according to what they purchased. Step three, your customers will fall into the correct segments for your post-purchase marketing, and then all the value will be immediately sent via email. And we do this, you'll find out why, to train your customers to search, open, and engage with your emails so that it will spike your sender reputation, allowing your future messages to be delivered to their inbox. Now let's take a look at each individual step. Step one, your customer will follow a link, scan a QR code, or send a text message to claim your valuable mafia offer. You have to make this simple or the customer will not take action. Don't try to get too cute here. Just tell them exactly what to do and how to do it. Keep it simple and straightforward for maximum results like this. Here's what you get. Here's how to get it. This is not going to be available forever, so go do it now before you forget. Simple, right? Step two, your strategic funnel will capture the customer's contact information and deliver the value you promised. We use automations within the software known as ClickFunnels for this process. You can use any page builder you like, but we like to use ClickFunnels. This funnel page shows the simple value offer and it has an opt-in form to capture the customer's contact information. The automation works inside the funnel page, right? It automatically emails or texts the customer the value that you promised. It's delivered via third-party integrations like MailChimp or Twilio or Aweber. Don't get confused on this. I'm going to simplify it for you. But here's what I want you to remember. It's important to never deliver the value on the next page. Instead, show them that the signup was successful and include a warm message, something like this. We've just sent you a very important email that looks like this. Show a screenshot of the email and include your special gift. Go check your email right now to claim this. If you don't see it in your inbox, check your junk or spam folder and move it to your inbox so you'll receive our follow-up messages. It's important to click the link inside your email to claim your gift. Thank you. All right? Why do we do it this way? Why not just show it on the next page and give you the, the, the value promised? It's because when you make them go to their inbox and click to receive it, it proves to the SMTPs, those email service providers out there, that your message is trustworthy, it's relevant, it's valuable, since your customer opened it immediately and took action by clicking the link in the message. Does this make sense? All we're doing is creating a slippery slope where every interaction we have with your customer, it's very strategic and deliberately leads to the next action. We create a situation where each step is thought out and leads them to continue an exact process leading to a specific goal that we have in mind for them. This unique slippery slope process should always also compel your customers to fall in love with your brand like this flow. You should create a unique and more profitable relationship with each customer along every step of their journey. Now, at first, this stuff looks pretty confusing, but this step-by-step -step process, believe me, it's developed over time. It's tested continuously and always tweaked to provide maximum results. The third step, your funnel will automatically tag your customers in order to sort them according to what they purchased or how much they spent. You cannot set this stuff up inside of Gmail using vacation autoresponders, okay? These types of offers, they need to be tagged. They need to be tracked separately to ensure maximum delivery and response. Just like this. Here's the automation tab on the back end of a funnel we had for a five-week workshop. You can see 
that the SMS was sent immediately. Hey, you've made a great decision. And that the email was also sent immediately. Your free bonuses are inside. This is automated, guys. Each one of these campaigns is unique. Step four, your customers will fall into the correct segments for your post-purchase marketing. Because when your customers are tagged and sorted and segmented based on what they ordered, how much money they spent, which offer compelled action, then you can speak to them in a tone and language that's congruent with their purchase. This dramatically increases opens and engagements. Just imagine you go out and buy a new Chevy pickup truck, and then you start receiving email marketing about Ford pickups. Guess what? It don't make sense, so you don't care. Step five, the value that you promised will be immediately sent via email in order to train your customers to search, open, and engage. Remember, this is done automatically. Remember, don't put the value on the next page. If you sign up for this $10 off deal, it's going to be sent in an email and then alert them of the email to help for future delivery. When you do it the way I'm telling you, this will immediately spike your sender reputation so that your future messages will be delivered to the inbox instead of the junk folder. This little known secret, it's what gets us continuously inboxed with huge open rates that drive massive sales. Here's what it looks like. All right, customer receives your product insert, visits the landing page. Landing page delivers value through an automation. The customer lands on page two of your funnel, which explains that an email was sent. The customer goes to his inbox to collect the value. And then the SMTPs, the Gmails, view your message as trustworthy. Remember this from earlier, Seth? You went to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson. Please go to your inbox right now and find the email that I sent you. The email will show it's from Sean. It'll say from Sean and Seth for Post Purchase Pro. All right. Here's exactly what it looks like. See, I eat my own cooking. If you don't see it, then please go to your spam or junk folder. All right. And then move that to your primary inbox. Seth, it's time to complete these four steps. Yes. Just uh, catching everybody up in the chat box here. So guys, if you um, go to your inbox now, you'll find this email called or um, with the subject line action required. And all you're going to do is complete these four steps. It won't take you very long at all. This is the final step in this lesson. And then we're going to walk you through exactly why we had you do this, how important it was, and then how you can use this in your business to get the same result that we're going to share with you here in a moment. So let's see here. Just been um, asking a few questions here in the chat box. Um, a lot of people are not collecting emails right now. So this is really, really good stuff. And some people are saying, Sean, that they are trying to, but their opt-in rate is super low. Um, so we're going to share with you guys some uh, some good strategies to, to help you get there. So is everybody finished here? Let us know in the chat box. So Andy's finished. Let's see here. Moses is done. Um, some people say they didn't receive the email. If you didn't receive the email, um, check your spam, check your junk. Just make sure that you checked all the spots. Do a quick search for action required. Sometimes when you ha we have a lot of people hitting it at once, like we have hundreds of people that just hit that lesson, it might take a few extra minutes. So you can check back here in a moment, but just make sure that you did a quick search for action required. Okay, so Jeanette and Christina and um, Don say no email. Um, don't worry. Um, everyone, it is coming, um, but you'll you'll get it here in a moment. All right, Seth. So uh, let me talk about the lesson they were just a part of. Here's a lesson. If you went to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson and you took part in this this lesson, and I, I can see Paul says he's done there. I can only see those uh, Q&A responses one at a time. What we've done is we just spiked our sender reputation on Aweber because over 88 or 81 percent of you opened the email. But guess what? After this reputation spike, our future open rates will be two to 300% higher forever. So I just showed you in real time how once you have an email list, you can generate two to three times more traffic with your email marketing forever. Isn't this amazing? Now, as an additional bonus, it was important that you use the real email address because I should be already on the way to you, right? I sent you a beta version of our new Amazon. It's called, uh, let me grab a copy here. 49 Amazon Seller Hacks Revealed. Here's the book. I think it's $19.99 on Amazon. You just got a free copy in your email if you actually went through with the lesson. 
All right. And that's just my gift for you for completing the steps. Seth. Yep. Um, some people are saying that they haven't got the email le- um, yet. Whenever uh, we get a lot of hits to AWeber at one time, like there's hundreds and hundreds that just came through, they've kind of batched them. So they're coming through. Most of you've already gotten it, but if you're one of the few that hasn't yet, don't worry, it'll come probably within the next uh, five or min- minutes or so. Just make sure you follow through with the steps. That way you'll get that, uh, that book in your, uh, in your email. Um, so let's move on to secret number three. Seth, are we good with the uh, Q&A right now? All good. All right, here we go. Without further ado, secret number three, the final secret today. It's how to follow up with your customers post-purchase with world-class monetization marketing that offers customer service, enhances your user's experience, and includes offers to purchase more from you. One more time, remember these three core misbeliefs. Well, the reality is that the best way to make more money is to sell your existing customers. And your existing customer list is the best source of new traffic and allowing you to stop spending all your profit on sponsored ads. Now, when you own your own traffic, you create sales when you want because now you understand that your customer's first order is only the beginning of a long and mutually beneficial relationship, right? When you can orchestrate post-purchase marketing, you no longer need to rely on new buyers or sponsored ads for sales. And with this, I want you to type it this time if you're with me. Just type PCAC, just (laughs) like make an acronym out of it. I want you to understand the true value of having a profitable customer acquisition channel. This means that your business acquires customers at a profit, not at an expense. And that's going to make sense in a moment. Profitable customer acquisition channel. When you have this, your business can generate tons of free cash flow and profit. Thank you for participating. I see a lot of you coming in there. So let's just face a reality. I don't care what you're selling or who you're selling to or what part of the world you're in. All businesses that sell products and services pay for new buyers, right? Whether it's through billboards on the side of the highway, television ads, direct mail, radio ads, doesn't matter what media you're using. We all pay for new buyer traffic. It's called advertising and marketing, right? But listen, Amazon sends you buyers every single day for better than free. Because when you make a profit from customer acquisition, what you're doing, you're just not seeing it this way yet. If you're getting traffic to your listing that converts to an order, then you are profiting from customer acquisition. All right? Unless you're not making profitable sales, right? But if you're making sales at a profit, then you are getting paid to get new customers. Do you see the difference? You either pay for new customers or you get paid to get new customers. You have new customers every single day to your Amazon brands and your listings. You only need to deploy monetization marketing to that list and create a lifetime relationship that's equally and mutually beneficial. Let me tell you another story. In 2010, I know I'm getting old and I'm getting older every day, but this is important. With my eye heater business, I discovered the value of my customer list because what I did is I sent out a follow-up direct mail campaign to my customer list and created half a million dollars in revenue every time. Look at this. Embarrassing. I'm almost embarrassed to show it, Seth, but this tiny, ugly, yellow, unremarkable postcard that I sent out in the mail to over 70,000 of my customers generated 500,000 in sales. So I mailed it again and again. And what happened? I mailed this exact same postcard to the same customer list with the same offer over and over throughout the year, and the results were similar every time. It never created less than 400,000 in additional sales. Why? Same customer, same offer, same postcard, same results. Why does that work? This is where you're getting it wrong. If you have a list, you're sending an email out and nothing happens or you get only a small amount of action, so you give up. But your customer needs to hear from you, my friend. Your customers are not always going to be ready to make another purchase. Think about it. Do you really stop at Burger King every time you drive by? No, but you have. But does that stop Burger King from advertising? Heck no. You have to understand this to be successful in your monetization marketing. We engage our customers again and again to stay top of mind. This way, when they are ready for us, 
we, our brand, our product, our listing becomes the obvious choice. Are we being annoying? No. Do we see unsubscribes? Of course we do. But do we create more sales? How about $62,730,000 worth? You have to understand that your customers will continue to shop on Amazon well after they purchase from you. It's your job to capture more of those sales by building a relationship with them. Now, if you had a physical storefront on Main Street, would you expect to only have one transaction with each customer that walks in? Of course not. That's ridiculous, isn't it? If you're smart, you try to nurture each customer to get them to come back again and again. This is called a business. Why should your Amazon business be any different? Here's what we do. First, we use an amazing monetization marketing sequence to entertain and educate your customers ongoing. Then we develop trust with your customers to build on the relationship. We always offer value and make soft offers to purchase more from you. And we continue the same cadence until the customer opts out of your sequence, being able to capture up to 67% more sales to the same customer without spending a penny on paid ads. Now let's take a look at each individual task, shall we? Step one, use an amazing monetization marketing sequence to entertain and educate your customers. Here's the truth. Email, regardless of what you may think, is not dead. But email, again, is not just one and done because email is a longer conversational relationship building channel. Email, my friend, is one of the most profitable marketing channels in existence because in today's hyperactive world, email stands out as a way to privately communicate with your customers at a time that they choose. Think about it. When you get a text message, you open it almost immediately, right? But what about an email? You open and engage with that email at a time that's right for you. That's why it's working so good. What we like to do is we create monetization marketing, where each highly valued email delivers great content, sometimes includes an offer, and always ends with a cliffhanger that teases what's coming in the next email. I call it a drip tease. It's like watching a miniseries on television where they'll tease what happens if you don't tune in to the next episode. Step two. We develop trust with your customers to build on the relationship. Always remember that just like you and I, your customer is a human too. So you need to build a nurture relationship with him like you would if you had a bricks and mortar store. This is where they'll come to know and trust you and your brand so that you will become the obvious best choice when he needs to make another purchase or refer one of his friends. Look, your customers will continue to shop online well after they purchase from your listing, right? Right. So why not earn as many of those repeat purchases as possible? Step three, always offer value and make offers to purchase more. The truth is, we all like to buy. You probably bought something today, didn't you? But who wants to be sold? I know I don't. If your emails or text messaging only pushing sales, not adding value, then sure, you're going to get some more sales, but you'll also see unsubscribes after a few weeks. Just educate and entertain your customers with valuable conversational emails and then add soft offers in each email like this, maybe coupon codes in your sign-off or links to your store in the postscript section. Like P.S. Check my store out here. Or buttons to your one-time offers in the body of your email. Don't be afraid to sell. All right? Just be be sure you offer value first. Step four, continue the same cadence until the customer opts out of your sequence. Once your customer is trained to open and engage in your messages, the worst thing you could possibly do is stop sending. You need to develop a cadence and then stick with it. And don't sweat the unsubscribes. They're going to happen anyway. Instead, focus on your active customers because that's where the value is for you and your brand. Don't forget that 41% of our sales come from this exact process. And we see the same for our hundreds of clients that we work with around the world. Step five, capture up to 67% more sales to the same customer without spending any money on paid ads. Listen, when you truly own and control your traffic and your customer journey, you can send traffic to your Amazon store whenever you want for next to nothing. But if you don't own some of your traffic, then you're unfortunately forced to rely on Amazon buyer traffic to search, find, and buy your product 
among thousands of offers or worse. I hope this isn't you. You have to pay for sponsored ad traffic to drive sales, which you know eats away at your profits every time you do. Start building a list of your best Amazon customers right away and take control of your future. Let me ask you a question. Do you agree that if you had a post-purchase funnel in place that would help you gather and manage hundreds of your best Amazon customer contacts each day and delivered an amazing user experience that naturally created new purchases for your products on Amazon without the need for paid ads, would you be a little bit more successful? Of course you would. And in all honesty, the advice that I'm giving you right here today, thanks to our friend Kevin King, it's the exact same advice that I give my own children. And if you'll allow me just a few more minutes, I'll show you how the quickest and easiest way to get all this stuff going in your business through my company, Post Purchase Pro. Your business currently looks like this. You create a sale on Amazon, and then what? You do absolutely nothing with the customer that you just spent all that money to acquire, and then you go out looking for new customers paying dearly for more sponsored ads, which drains away at your profits. But we can build out 100% of your post-purchase marketing for you, which will create tons of repeat orders, better keyword ranking, and a lot more profit because you pay virtually nothing for every additional sale that you make from email marketing. Now I'm prepared to share with you a way to have all this stuff completely built and deployed for you with no effort on your part at all and for such a low cost investment that you'd literally go out and club a baby seal just to get in. Not really. We don't want to club any baby seals. But in other words, my friend, listen, I'm about to make this decision so simple for you that you'd have to be insane not to say yes because the value that this will add to your business is so enormous and your investment will be so little that it makes this an absolute no-brainer decision. No joke. I've created something truly extraordinary that you can only get on this special Kevin King-only webinar. In the past, we've charged between $4,000 and $10,000 per month for this exact service and have hundreds of happy clients. But today, you can join us for a tiny fraction of what the others are paying. Don't go anywhere and you'll see how this completely done for you service will literally pay for itself. And this will be proven through your very own Amazon attribution links. Post Purchase Pro is the only done for you, complete A to Z marketing service built specifically for Amazon sellers by Amazon sellers. But before I get into the details, I have to admit something to you so I don't waste any of your time. We have never been able to successfully help a seller that sells poor quality products. I've literally failed every single time. So if your products have a three-star review or less, I'm sorry, I can't do anything for you. I just want to get that out of the way and be honest about it so I don't waste your time. But if you're like me and you sell products that people like, I'm 100% certain that we can add massive value to your business, regardless of your category and no matter what kind of product that you sell. Because as long as people like your products, I have never failed at this. Now, if that sounds fair enough, I'll jump in right now. What's included with Post Purchase Pro if we build this for you? We'll create for you your own attention-getting marketing device. We'll design your mafia offer. We design a complete customer capture funnel. We create continuous monetization marketing sequences, ongoing email and SMS text lead capture. We do weekly emails that drive engagement. We generate repeat sales on Amazon, create more natural reviews, higher page ranking, and then you get real-time reporting of your return on investment. Basically everything from A to Z, this is a completely hands-off, done-for-you service. You can finally get this part of your business done for you. While you focus on creating front-end sales on Amazon and managing your operations, that's what you're doing every day anyway. While you do that, we'll manage your post-purchase marketing through professional built assets that have already been proven to work. This is where 41% of our revenue is made. How much would an additional 41% mean for you? So instead of paying to acquire new customers, you too can soon be getting paid to acquire new customers because Post Purchase Pro is the only service of its kind that builds your own customer list from your existing sales on Amazon and leverages your own list to drive more sales 
of your products back on Amazon. The hard truth is, and we all know this, the real value in your business, it's not in the product you sell. It's in the customers that you serve. And without a real relationship with your existing customers, you too are forced to depend 100% on Amazon for your buyer traffic through search term rankings and worse, PPC sponsored ads. My friend, it's time to take back control of your business because with Post Purchase Pro, you own everything. Not Amazon. You own it all. You always totally own and control your customer list. You own the insert designs. You own the website funnel pages. You own the relationship. You own all of the digital assets that we create for you. You can think of us as your marketing team, but the best marketing team in the world that you don't have to manage. You don't have to train, hire, or fire. We simply perform for you and report all the results back to you. You don't have to just take my word for it, though. Look, Leonard says over the years he's benefited from numerous ideas with Sean and Seth. Eddie says he loves it. The market competition's fierce. Mike, he loves us too. Great email marketing service. These guys really know how Amazon email marketing are very focused. These people say it's remarkable. Slow to get started. Momentum's unstoppable. Chad 1000% recommends. Danny loved us so much, he actually joined our company. Warren says these guys know exactly what they're doing. It provides so much value and it's all done for you. Stacy says these guys are awesome. Alex says any chance you get to work with us, you should jump on it. Paul says we've been working with them for over a year and they've really helped develop and hone our customer email list. Overall, fantastic job. By the way, it's a perfect for the keyword rank of porcelain soup bowls also been boosted to page one and got Amazon's choice badge. It's quite good. Our sales peaked yesterday, their highest point ever. We keep getting more orders. My PPP is bringing more orders and reviews works really well. Guys, I'm pausing this. <laughs> Because we had a surplus of inventory for our audience, but now what's occurred is that we had a huge spike in sales and our inventory is running low. 300% increase. My experience is great proof PPP works really well. Look at this. Five-star review after five-star review after five-star review. Hair care companies, it doesn't matter the product. Tahir says they're the real deal. They know how to dial it in. Abraham loves it. Amazon marketing people, Seth and Sean, great at what they do. These guys are the best, says Sam. Gerald says, the honest and trustworthy company. Look, you don't have to take my word for it. We have hundreds and hundreds of happy customers all over the world. But this is about to get even better for you. Right now, Post Purchase Pro creates even more products. Let me explain. Recently, Amazon has launched a program called Amazon Attribution. Maybe you're familiar. This program is specifically designed to reward sellers that drive their own external traffic, which is exactly what we're doing on your behalf using email and text. Amazon values this traffic so much that they will pay you a 10% commission on all the traffic you drive using email and text. So let's do some quick math, all right? If we drive an additional 50 grand in revenue for you, then Amazon's gonna give you a $5,000 bonus. It's pure profit for you, and you still get all the keyword ranking and reviews juice. It's like having the best of both worlds. You will not find any other marketing channel out there that is more profitable than what we do at Post Purchase Pro. Let's take a listen to what one of our clients, Joel, says about our program, and then we'll move on. I think everybody should be doing email marketing. I think it's extremely important for your business to have follow-up funnels, as they call it, and to stay in contact with your audience. They want to hear from you, and they want a relationship with you. and PPP, Post Purchase Pro have done a tremendous job helping us staying consistent with our emails. I think that you should take advantage. You're going to see free money. And if you're able to use brand attribution with PPP, you should. It's paid yourself over. And um, uh, I mean, I would say in August, we did a, how would you say it? A mid five figure, is it five, six? Five figure brand attribution bonus. And it's been very exciting and it was very rewarding to see it because any other type of email marketing to Amazon is very hard to measure. And having that in the brand attribution dashboard has been, how do you say, uh, refreshing. So Joel's got amazing results from what we do. So let me do a quick example here and compare this with PPC. Let's just say that you spent uh, $697 on PPC ads, okay? You get $697 worth of clicks, right? But what do you get tomorrow? You get nothing. 
unless you spend more money and you're not building an asset. And in case you didn't know, those PPC prices continue to go up every single day. But if you were to spend the same amount of money with Post Purchase Pro, you're going to build a real asset that can generate sales forever. Tomorrow, you can generate even more sales, more keyword ranking, and more reviews. You can use that list to launch or relaunch your products, and every single day, your customer list grows and becomes more and more profitable. So you would spend money with us, just like Joel did. Can you see why our clients view Post Purchase Pro as a no-brainer, and they choose to spend their very first marketing dollars with us? I'm not saying to go stop doing PPC or paid ads. I'm simply pointing out that you should definitely be investing in post-purchase marketing because the return on that investment is so much higher. You see why I'm so excited about this, right? Because it's a complete game changer. And recently, Seth and I had figured out a way to dramatically boost results even more. Now, pay attention here. This is an included benefit that 97% of our clients choose to participate in, but it's not a requirement. So this is very important. I want you to understand how it works. At Post Purchase Pro, we have hundreds of the world's most elite and successful sellers, just like you. The collective size of their audience is right now 14.6 million Amazon shoppers. These are not fake rebate buyers or freebie claimers. These are real Amazon shoppers that actually buy things on Amazon at full price. These are the customers of our clients that have opted in to be part of their customer list. And more customers are opting in every minute of the day, so that audience is growing as I speak. But here's the exciting part for you. Through Post Purchase Pro's Audience Alliance, you can now send your offers for your Amazon products to their list of customers. I know, crazy, right? That means that you'll be able to promote your Amazon products to massive list of Amazon shoppers every single month. And can you guess what happens when you send real Amazon shoppers to view your products? You're right. You make a ton more sales and you gain keyword ranking like crazy. So let me break it down for you. Imagine you're paying $1 per click through sponsored ads on Amazon. If you get 10,000 clicks, you'd have to pay $10,000, right? But with Audience Alliance, 10,000 clicks, your cost is nothing, $0. 100,000 clicks cost you nothing. You can get 1 million clicks from Audience Alliance, your cost still $0. This is all included in Post Purchase Pro through this special offer only. So not only are we going to build an entire post purchase marketing system for you and help you build your own customer list, but you'll also have the ability to now send your offers legally to millions of Amazon shoppers on our other clients' customer list because Audience Alliance allows you to create an alliance with our other clients and share offers between audiences. And the best part, again, you don't have to do any of this. Your Post Purchase Pro account manager will handle all this for you at no additional cost whatsoever. But if you don't join through this special Kevin King offer, then access to Audience Alliance is an additional two grand per month and worth every single penny. But only through today's offer can you get instant access to Audience Alliance for no additional cost ever. Free for you forever. Let me ask you. If you had an entire post-purchase marketing system integrated into your business that makes each one of your customers more profitable to you by creating full priced repeat orders, more reviews, better keyword ranking, higher profits, and you had access to millions of additional buyers at the click, and you were delivering world-class customer experience and value all by a world-class team of copywriters, marketers, and developers that did it all for you, do you think you'd be a little more successful? I think the answer is obvious, isn't it? Join us today, and I'm going to make this even better. You're going to get these amazing exclusive bonuses. You get access to Audience Alliance, a $2,000 per month value free. You get $2,000 in Amazon reimbursements from our friends at Gatita, even if you're already a customer, free. You get $600 in a PPC course that my friend Philip Jepson created, founder of Managed by Stats. You get this course free, a $600 value. A $2,000 value, you get the email capture pixel installed in your funnels for you. I'm going to explain in a moment. You're also going to get $1,000 email appends, Amazon order data. Yes, I'm going to go in and show you how to download all of your historical order data from your Amazon sales back for the past 12 months. I'll do it for free. No one else can give you this. It's not even possible. You can't buy this stuff. And I'm also going to give you lifetime access to my friend Tahir's Walmart monthly bestsellers list. More on these valuable bonuses right now. 
Seth, join me. And I'm going to show folks, not only if you join us today, you're not only going to get Post-Purchase Pro, but also bonus number one, you get Audience Alliance, a $2,000 a month value, absolutely free. Seth? Basically, for Audience Alliance, just to kind of give you a, an example of what this would look like, we um, form alliances with our clients, like in between our clients. So let's imagine that Sean and I are both clients of Post Purchase Pro, and we both have our own unique audiences that we've built up over time. But I sell a pizza cutter and Sean sells a pizza stone. Well, what we can do is we can actually create a marketing message selling my pizza cutter to his pizza stone audience. So it's a perfect match. And then in vice versa, right? So he gets to sell his pizza stone to my pizza cutter audience. So we're not competing, but we have the exact same customer. And we can do this two times a month. <laughs> so every other week, basically, you're getting access to get your product in front of thousands and thousands of brand new, fresh customers, and basically with a warm introduction. So the email is like this. Hey, my friend over at ABC Widget Co., Sean, sells this amazing um, you know, pizza stone, right? Check it out. I think you might like it. So that's a warm introduction, and that creates tons of uh, trust and sales. So basically, that's what audience does in a nutshell. Gives you free exposure to a lot of traffic that creates a lot of sales and ranking. Now, Seth, is, uh, he's been busy answering in the chat box, so he's going to help me explain these bonuses. And I'm going to show you how you can go join us through this exclusive offer. So bear with him. We'll get back to the questions in a moment. But Audience Alliance is so valuable because it positions your offer to a customer who already know, like, and trust and recognizes the brand sending it. It means so much more that way. This is something that you can't buy. You couldn't purchase this if you wanted it. It's only available to post-purchase pro members. You get it as part of today's bonus uh, value stack today. And the value is $2,000. Seth, bonus number two, not only are you going to get your complete post-purchase pro built for you, but bonus number two, our friends over at Gatita are going to do $2,000 in reimbursements for you, absolutely free, even if you're already a customer, Seth. Yeah, so um, if you're not aware, Amazon makes mistakes every single day. They're moving product around for you on your behalf. They're shipping goods from one fulfillment center to another. Customers are sending back in product. Um, Amazon miscounts. There's all kinds of errors that happen. Well, every single error costs you money, either in lost inventory or overcharged fees, well, what Gatita does is they go out there and audit the, your records after you've given it your best effort. If, you, if you're trying to reconcile your records um, on your own, that's fine. Gatita basically audits what you have done, and then they find reimbursements. Well, Gatita normally doesn't give a $2,000 credit, but that's basically what it is. So hook up Gatita to your account. You're going to use the post-purchase pro code, and then automatically they're going to go out there and find you $2,000 in reimbursements absolutely free. It's like free cash that's sitting in your account that you haven't claimed yet. Now, Gatita, if you continue with them, and why would it? You want to get that free money after the first $2,000. If you continue, there's no commitment, no obligation. They'll continue to collect that money for you and charge 25% of what they collect. So that brings our total bonus value to $4,000, but I'm just getting warmed up. Not only are you getting Post-Purchase Pro, but you're also getting bonus number three, the PPC course created by our friend, Philip Jepson, founder and creator of Managed by Stats. Easily $600 value. Seth, Philip Jepson has spent more money on PPC ads for his brand than anybody I know in the industry. He's made every mistake imaginable. That's why he created this massively valuable course, and we're giving it to everyone free, bringing the total bonus value up to $4,600. Bonus number four, not only are you getting the complete post-purchase pro system, but you also get email capture pixel installed on your website. Easily a value of $2,000, Seth. Yeah, so people are asking like, how do we build our, our email list using Amazon? Well, there's a bunch of different ways. This is what we focus on every single day is growing that list, cultivating that list, and then making it valuable and producing sales with that list. Well, one of the ways that we do that is we use a special pixel and install it on any of your web properties. So if you have a blog or a Shopify store, say if you're getting 10,000 visits per month to your Shopify store, this pixel will automatically match about half of those visitors to a real email address that get automatically added to your list. And they don't even have to have to opt in. As long as it's in the US, that's totally can spam compliant and your list grows so much fast, faster. So these are just some of the little um, ways that we build your list a lot faster for you with inside of Post Purchase Pro. 
easily, uh, easily, easily, easily a value of two thousand dollars, Sean. Check out this screenshot, Seth. Um, I did it in September just for uh, demonstration. Uh, we capture the emails by installing that pixel on your pages that we build and host for you. This client here is collecting over 8,000 emails per year without even asking for an opt-in. Now, each one of those emails, in case you didn't know, is worth about $2 in additional value per email address per month. So with our program, this client alone is building a list that's adding over 16,000 per month to her business. It's just remarkable. So with that, that brings our bonus value up to $6,600. And I have two more exclusive bonuses for you. So not only do you get Post-Purchase Pro System today, but bonus number five, we're going to show you how to go find your historical order data and append that with a real email address. Seth? Yeah, so if you've been on Amazon for any time at all, you know how frustrating it, frustrating it can be to have taken a bunch of orders in the past, and then you think that that order data is lost forever, right? But, but it's actually not. We can actually go and find you the real customer order information, like the customer's name, the customer's mailing address from the last 12 months in your business. So a lot of you were typing in the, the number of customers that you're serving every single month. But let's imagine that you had 100,000 customers over the last year. Well, we're going to be able to find most of those orders and give you a file with all of your customer information. Then you can take that customer order data and then you can use like a process like email appends to match up a real email address in about 40% of the cases. So if that's you, if you have 100,000 orders, we can find most likely 40,000 emails to jumpstart your marketing. That's a great way to kick things off strong, Sean. I love it. So that brings our bonus value up to $7,600. Remember, these are all yours free just for trying Post-Purchase Pro. You're not going to pay for these. Your money's not welcome here. Just try us out with the URL I'm about to unveil, and all of these bonuses will be added to you absolutely free instantly. Last but not least, not only do you get Post-Purchase Pro system built today, but bonus number six, a $1,000 value, you're going to get our Walmart bestseller list by category. So Seth, every single day, our friends over at Rocket Seller are scraping the sales data from walmart.com and they're compiling a list of the top 20 best-selling products in each category and they send that list every single month. Normally, it's $1,000 per year. We give you lifetime access immediately, 100% free of charge, obviously a value of $1,000. So that brings our total bonus value, $8,600 today just for trying us out. Now, a quick overview. If you join us today through this special offer that you won't find anywhere else, you're going to get your high converting product inserts created. You get your email SMS funnels created, TOS compliant customer opt-ins, custom professionally written follow-up emails, continuous email marketing to drive sales ranking and reviews. We'll warm up any current list that you have. You get ongoing holiday email marketing, you get unlimited Pro 7 launches. So if you need to launch a product or relaunch an old product, we have an email sequence specifically for that that's proven to be wildly successful. You get free access to Audience Alliance. You get customer email list management. We'll manage your email service provider. And then you get reporting each month to so show the results. Now, if this looks like a ton of headache and a tremendous amount of work setting up, it requires a huge team to do this. It looks like a headache because it is a headache. But don't forget, we do all this work for you, completely hands-off. So if you're thinking, isn't this going to take a little while to get started? No, Seth. Normally, we're able to get you started producing results within the first four weeks, and those results only get better over time. In fact, this is a chart showing our average client's growth over 24 months in our program. As you can see, this type of marketing grows exponentially once it's started, but your cost stays the same. Remember, Seth, in the beginning, I asked folks, if you see something that you think can help achieve your goals, that you're going to take action, and you typed, I promise. You made me a promise when we got started today, and now it's time to take action. It's time to fulfill on that promise. How can hundreds of clients be wrong, Seth? Yeah, Sean, it's really kind of overwhelming when you see that, isn't it? So we've helped a lot of people in the business. Um, you can see just the different types of um, niches and different products. Um, like somebody was asking about a specific product that they're selling in the chat box. And the thing is that we've served almost every single category on Amazon. Sean and I ourselves have launched more than 1000 unique products ourselves, right? 
and we've hel helped hundreds and hundreds of sellers all across the world. So chances are we, we've seen your category before, we've seen your type of product before, and we have an idea of what might work for you. So um, <laughs> there's definitely a, um, an advantage to having all that data, right? Hundreds and hundreds of clients all over the world can't be wrong. Can you find somebody say bad about us? I'm sure you can if you dig hard enough. But at the end of the day, what we do works. This is what your business looks like right now. And your competition's eating your lunch. This is what your business can and should and could look like with Post Purchase Pro. And not only if you join us, do you get Post Purchase Pro, but you get all of these cool bonuses included at no additional charge, a value of $8,600. Here's how we got here. Seth and I have been preaching this stuff all over the world for years. But most of you, you understand the value, but you don't know how to do the work or you don't want to do the work. So we took on a handful of clients a few years ago, and we charged up to $10,000 per month for a done-for-you solution, plus 15% of the increase in sales that we generated. But what we do is so darn good that 15% quickly became unfair. So once we got to our first 100 clients, we eliminated the 15%. And now we work with hundreds of sellers around the globe. The cost is now between $1,000 and $4,000 per month for an all-inclusive marketing service. But today, I'm going to make you, <laughs> I'm going to make this decision so simple for you that you're going to slap yourself by not taking action. Because if you take me up on today's Kevin King only special offer, you can join Post Purchase Pro for our best offer ever. And not only can you join, but you're also covered by our ironclad money back guarantee. Seth, I like to call this my swim with the sharks guarantee. Why? Because our marketing systems are so good that if you were to lose it and you wouldn't willingly jump into shark infested waters to get it back, then I'll refund you 100%. And it's clearly written in black and white. You're protected. If we can't deliver, then we don't deserve to keep your money. And we'll give you 100% full refund and you get to keep all of our hard work and you still get access to all the bonuses 100% free forever. And I'm staking my reputation on your success. How do we get started? If you want to join Post Purchase Pro for our best offer ever and get the $8,600 in free bonuses, I have to let you in on a little secret. The bad news is, Seth, we only have 50 of these spots remaining. So if you go to postpurchasepro.com forward slash K2, we only have 50 spots remaining. That's the hard truth. We only have a We can't do this for everyone. This offer is only available for this exclusive Kevin King offer. Right now, that number is 50 as I'm speaking. So in a few minutes, all you smart action takers out there on this call, you're going to start snatching up these discounted spots and claiming these awesome bonuses. And when all of these $697 spots are taken, you're going to see this screen. And when you do, it simply means that we're sold out of our special 697 spots in the program. Not the end of the world. You can still get in until next Thursday, but it's going to be at the regular price of $1,000 per month, but you don't get all the bonuses. This offer, though, expires next Thursday, and the only way you can get in at the discount of 697 is to take one of these 50 spots that we have available today. And Seth, I'm going to have the staff in the background start counting down these 50 spots as they go. When they're gone, they're gone. I want you to go right now to postpurchasepro.com forward slash K2. You already made a promise you would take action if you see something that makes sense. Now's the time to do that. And listen up. I'm talking to my support staff in the background. As you see these spots sell out, I want you to count these down because when we get to zero, guess what? That train has left the station, Seth. That ship has set sail, right? You can still get in. You're just going to pay full price. You don't get this $8,600 in bonuses. No harm, no foul. Just cost you more money.